27, 4 p.m. I saw a banana peel in the lake, and it was an interesting idea. So small that it's a wonder I even saw it. I could have overlooked it, gotten shot in the face, and never known it existed. You can say the peel can now sink in peace and continue to float on in my mind, which, if you really look at it, is where it started floating in the first place. One of the men from the university is here at the park. I bet he wants me to talk about the last tape we made. Typical. They keep prying until I tell them what they don't want to hear. Then they try to pry me into saying I could be wrong. He makes a comment and says, beautiful weather we're having. I bet he likes poetry. Poets always seem to be taking the weather so personally. I hate poetry. He followed me here to ask how sure I was that death leads to rebirth. He believes me. After all I've seen of my past lives, I know the truth. But I would kill to just believe. He has it good. Knowing what I know changes how I live. He lives with uncertainty, but he also lives with a name and emotion for everything and a fear of death that gives him an appreciation for life. The will to survive if for no other purpose than to guarantee another day. I could even slip into the lake without coming up to gasp for air. I may choose to let myself sink, to remain afloat only in the minds of those who knew me in this flesh, if for no other purpose than to chance at coming back in a body that doesn't seek the truth, that never knows what I know. I envy his uncertainty.